Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more eSports Talk, what quite possibly could be the most insane story I have ever covered on this channel revolving around Twitch, by the way. In the news for a lot lately, this time around going to be a lawsuit set to be for $25 million against Twitch by one individual known as Eric Estevillo. Now, this guy as well apparently has also recently sued companies like Microsoft and Sony and Nintendo and Blizzard, best of luck, by the way, when it comes to those legal suits, for a variety of things this time around suing Twitch for $25 million because of female streamers and their sexually suggestive content. Now very quickly something not to make light of or make jokes about or apparently what Eric is undergoing uh, that being uh, he deals with depression as well as OCD, panic disorder uh, alongside agoraphobia I believe that's a type of anxiety as well as Crohn's disease and a list of things he does mention in this lawsuit. Now pertaining to the actual lawsuit and why he is actually suing Twitch for $25 million naming a long laundry list of female only streamers which apparently streams suggestive content on Twitch is the main basis for this lawsuit. But it does continue and it gets pretty crazy pretty fast. Also, he claims he heavily relies on the internet for his entertainment during these difficult times and many people have, all caps, have to stay home for entertainment because of the ongoing pandemic and quarantine. Mr. Estevillo also suffers from sex addiction due to his OCD making him obsessed with sex and compulsions. Twitch, as he states, has extremely exacerbated his condition by displaying many sexually suggestive women streamers through Twitch's twisted programming and netcode, making it impossible for him to use Twitch without being exposed to sexually suggestive content. And in this same article, guys, he uses Alinity as a prime example as well, alongside other top names that we have seen uh, a lot in the news when it comes time for Twitch. Amaranth being one, Pokimane being one, Loser Fruit from the Fortnite scene also being one, amongst 20 others on that list of all female streamers, which, by the way, for punishment, he is calling to be permanently banned from the website. Eric, by the way, who is apparently following 786 female streamers and zero male streamers, according to the complaint, argues that the site does not offer a way to filter streams by gender. Because of this, he is forced to choose by a game or category with thumbnails of scantily clad women alongside men. So I, I think his argument being with his compulsions, with his sex addiction and other uh, conditions ongoing when he has no way to filter by gender of his streamers he pulls up twitch and he is um, has a compulsion to only maybe choose female streamers because of the the thumbnails of scanty clad women and the sexually suggestive content makes it almost impossible for him to actually choose a male stream over a female stream or at least that's what I'm, I'm trying to depict from this. Maybe you guys can help me out. And I forgot to mention early on in his complaint as well, he does mention he is a Prime and Turbo subscriber for the platform. He is suing Twitch for $25 million to be split amongst him as well as other Prime Turbo subscribers with anything left over going to charity. And like I said previously, the entire list of females as he does list in his complaint, he wants them all to be permanently banned as well for their sexually suggestive content and w and with that guys i <laughs> I really don't know where to go about this, right? When it comes time for what he suffers from, not gonna make jokes about that, but when it comes time for this complaint about only being towards female streamers out there for being sexually suggestive as well, and that is the reason why he is somehow following nearly 800 female streamers and zero male streamers and wanting 25 million for the fact that Twitch lets it be ongoing and an issue on the platform, I currently, have no idea what to say about this. So I'll just flip the question to all of you guys. What do you think about that? Twitch being sued $25 million because of people, apparently, not according to me, according to Eric Estevillo, people like Pokimane, Alinity, Amaranth, Loser Fruit, and uh, many, many other female streamers who are scantily clad or having sexually suggestive content, leading for people like Eric to make some very, very bad choices. What do you guys think? Until next time, hope you all enjoy. Drink that water, drink that coffee. I'll be back here all day long with other esports and gaming news. What a freaking day.